Could there be space elevators in the next decade? And is it a viable alternative for space travel? Space elevators, I should say what they are. The idea is that you, you put something into orbit. Let's say you get an asteroid and stick it into Earth orbit. And you basically hang a rope down. <laughs> now the question is, what's the rope made of? Um, and then use it to winch things up into orbit. Um, it turns out that that's very difficult to do because, the, the, as you can imagine, the, the rope has to be extremely strong and extremely light. It can't be heavy because you end up with, you can see all sorts of problems. If you, you can imagine how long this rope has to be to go up to an asteroid in what's called geostationary orbit. I should know the number, actually, so you don't have to imagine. You can work it out. It's a, question, it's a thing for you, a challenge with your teachers afterwards. Go and find out what height a geostationary orbit is. I can't remember, <laughs> but it's a long way. So, so you, you can ask the question, well, is there a material, even in principle, that you could use to make these ropes? Now, people say, I'm not an expert in this area, but people say, yes, it, it may be possible in principle to build these things out of things like carbon nanotubes and some of the... There's a new material actually called graphene, which was discovered at my institute, the University of Manchester in the UK, which is a form of carbon that is extremely strong and extremely light. And the, the, the sort of PR number we give out at the university is if you get a sheet, a one atom thick sheet of graphene, then you could balance uh, a pin on there and put an elephant on the pin and it wouldn't go through. So it's incredible material. So it, it's, I think the answer is that it, it may be possible in principle with materials such as that. 